Hers and Chas, Mumbusi Jury X, and this is Why Does Belarus Exist? <laughs> Every time there's a title like this from this channel, it just feels like a direct attack or something. Why does Belarus exist? All the Belarusians are like, why the fuck would you ask that question? <laughs> you know there's going to be a Putin, uh, you know, uh, photo in the thumbnail as soon as this title came up. Yeah, right now, apparently, I mean, as far as the, you know, news goes, the Belarus exists to be puppet state of Russia or is becoming a puppet state of Russia or something like that. I don't know much detail about that. I don't keep up with news in detail like that. Yeah, I'm tired of, you know, horribleness of the world in a way. So I, just, I don't go into detail with the news. So I don't know. I don't know detail about that, but something like this. So I, I chose this video specifically because I do know something about this, but I'm not clear about that. So I'm like, okay, let's watch this one. You know, I guess my history will be cleared up. Uh, I think Belarus was part of Poland, right? During the Catherine's time. When Catherine the Great realized, that, okay, fuck it, let's just, you know, parties in Poland. Because that's what happens to Poland every time. Uh, you know, it was uh, split in three parts. And uh, the portion that went to Russia, I guess, that, that part was Belarus, right? And then, uh, you know, obviously it became part of Russia, then Soviet Union. And after the fall of Soviet Union, it became Belarus, if I remember correctly. So it was part of Poland, if I remember correctly. I don't know any detail beyond that, like far back than that, but I'm pretty sure this channel will cover it. But yeah, as far as I know, that's the case. Now, ethnic ethnic people, are these ethnic Russians or are they ethnic, uh, you know, uh, you know, other people? I don't know about that, but it'll be interesting to see. Remember, if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe so I know which type of videos to react to more. Allo History Matters, it's always a small... I mean, there are 10-minute clips that I haven't touched yet. Do you want me to do 10-minute uh, videos from this channel? Because there are some good ones. There's Genghis Khan one. There's a, you know, British... There's two British videos, apparently. There's USSR video. Comment if you want me to do 10-minute videos. And yeah, I love this channel. They explain things in very short period of time, which is ridiculous. Uh, it takes skill to do that. But yeah, let's always... There are many questions which keep us up at night. Is there an afterlife? Why are we here? And why is Belarus a thing? <laughs> so Belarus is Seriously. a country in Eastern Europe sandwiched between Poland, Russia, Ukraine and the Baltics. It's also an exceptionally young nation, having only become a fully independent state in 1991. So the name Belarus comes from the term Belaya Rus, which means White Russia. Historically, much of modern-day hmm. Belarus's lands were located within the Grand Grand Duchy of Lithuania. Ah, Grand Duchy of Lithuania. Okay, I guess this is pre-Poland. Okay, first of all, uh, <laughs> White Russia. I mean, it, it already answers my question, like, uh, ethnic, ethnically, which people live there. Here, the Belarusians were often referred to as Ruthenians, but this term was often a broad one which applied to both them and the Ukrainians. In fact, the people who lived there were often referred to as either Litvini or Palyaschuk. The first traces of a consistent Belarusian national identity don't spring up until the 19th century, roughly when all of the other nationalist movements were picking up too. During the 19th century, Belarus was a part of the Russian Empire after the partition of Poland-Lithuania and this saw many changes brought about. Firstly, the ruling Polish Catholic class were removed from power and replaced with a Russian-speaking Orthodox one. Secondly, Obviously. intellectuals within the Russian Empire began to study the Belarusian people to determine just how different they were. Covertly, that is, because the imperial government outlawed the notion that Belarusians were a distinct people from Russians. In the latter half of the 19th century, the Belarusians, led by Konstanty Kalinowski, revolted against the Russians, asserting their own identity, but this revolt was soon crushed. Of course, this doesn't invalidate the Belarusian claims of a unique identity, though. It existed whether or not the St. Petersburg government wanted it to. So, as you'll know... Yeah, so basically... When you're, you know, uh, you know, emperor, czar, or whatever, in throne, basically, and not a democracy, this things happens a lot, and we we always assume like, mm, why are every time people who's like sitting on a seat like a king or something is always evil, right? Ignoring history, ignoring the facts and evidence, like in here, like just ignoring point of blank that Belarus even exists. It's just part of Russia. People need to realize that it's not that they're oblivious to the fact, right? They're ob oblivious to the evidence. It's that it's political, right? They don't want, uh, you know, friction there. They just want it all to be one Russia so they can be strong in the world standing. That's the point here, right? I don't remember, you know, uh, there was a friend of mine who was basically making this point and I'm, I was just like, you know, I took a few minutes to think about, but then you know, I'm like, what are you talking about, man? There has never been a person who was ever oblivious to the fact and evidence like that. Right? It's just because it serves their political agenda better. They, they want it to be it one nation. So there is no friction. So they're just going to ban even talking about it. Like Belarus even exists. Just ban the talk. 
people are not allowed to talk so there is no friction that's their mentality obviously that's suppression of speech and suppression of everything but yeah it's not that they're oblivious World War One kicked off in 1914 and this saw the status of Belarus and its people change massively in a very short period of time. After pushing the Russians back to here, the Germans created a puppet state, the Belarusian People's Republic. This was short-lived and the Russian Civil War and the following Polish-Soviet War saw the land divided like this, with some of the Belarusian lands going to Poland and the rest going to the USSR. The Belarusian lands here were known as the Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic. The BSSR was enlarged twice. The first was an internal enlargement which reflected demographic lines. The second came with the USSR's annexation of eastern Poland in the lead up to Again. World War II. After the dust from that conflict had settled, Belarus's modern... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Poland's uh, history is, uh, you know, a sad one in, in a way. Every time European countries have just thought like, hmm, Poland, I'll just take that, right? I mean, it happened during the Catherine the Great time, obviously, like I said, then it happened in the World War II time. I'm pretty sure there was something similar case very early on too. Right? I don't remember exactly, but it happened two, three times. I mean, that's just fucked up. Modern borders were established and affirmed. That said, Belarus wasn't independent in any way, barring some politicking by Stalin. Because, as many of you will know, Belarus, along with Ukraine, had their own seats in the UN whilst being a part of the USSR. The reason why Stalin managed to get these was that he refused to join the new UN unless he was granted extra seats since he was concerned that he would be consistently outvoted by non-communist Yeah, that makes states. sense. This concession was granted and the BSSR held its own seat until the dissolution of the USSR in 1991 when its seat was transferred to modern Belarus. So, in conclusion, the origins of Belarus are blurred and wrapped up in difficulties concerning names and which state its culture is rooted in. Was Belarus another successor to the Grand Duchy of Lithuania or was it a newcomer whose identity was forged in opposition to those around it? Be aware, though, that Belarus and its people shouldn't be seen as some offshoot of Russia and that their history is long and varied. Belarus is in many respects a young country, but its people, under many names, have existed for much longer. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for so watching. So basically, uh, forever the small region of Belarus I don't know the you know the, where Belarus right now small region of there there was always a different type of people with their own I guess king or something I guess centuries ago there were times just became part of the larger empires right until they became independent themselves I guess so ethnically they are different apparently huh. this is really interesting how many how many different ethnic people like that exist who were really small started out small centuries even millennia ago uh, but because of their being small, right, and obviously not having bigger kingdom to fight the larger empires, just throughout the years became part of the larger empires and just passed down until they got independence or they never did, right? That would be interesting to see if there's a video like that. But yeah. All right, people, that was Why Does Belarus Exist? But the channel History Matters. If you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you next time.